folks, Lewis here, and I thought I'd share this little gem with you. I've run out of fuel, but he needs to go in the pits. It's like I'm not even there. Anyway, what car have I got for you today? I've got the Sauber Mercedes C9. This is a good car to drive this. Very powerful, light on the wheels, not much understeer, just what you want. I managed to do my fastest lap yet in this car. I did a 128.8 which is probably about half a second faster than any other car I've done it in so far, including the Nissan. So, it's a very good car to be using, and one you'll enjoy. So, let's get into it. So, bringing it down onto the back straight here. We're on fuel map one, so we're going hell for leather at the moment. And we're going to be braking, the braking point is going to be at the 150 metre mark, just as you get over the crest, and you're going to slam on the brakes all the way down to the rubber, Turn in, gently come off your brakes, floor it, and then you want to position yourself in the middle of the track so you can take these two chicanes at full throttle with minimum resistance. Braking at the gravel trap and then letting the car swing in around 80 mile an hour and then bring it down to 60 for the second chicane. Flooring it all the way down to the second air pin, braking at the second to last sign take that car in about 8 uh, and then as soon as you can see the exit road on the exit floor it you're going to take it all the way down to the third hairpin and you're going to brake between the 100 and 150 mark gently off the brakes as you're turning and then on the accelerator when you turn out you'll get a bit of wheel spin there so you need to control it taking the car to the outside lifting off the accelerator slightly and then braking letting it off the gas and then powering out important you stay off the gas for that corner last hairpin brake at the 100 meter mark ease off the brakes as you go in and then accelerate out as soon as you see the road last corner you just want to feather off the throttle just to get the turn in before the bend and then you're over the line for a 128.8 like I said easy car to control loads of power very good car right let's get into the tune so, this is how you're going to tune it. So you want racing medium tyres. You want 50 to 80 on the ride height. 7 on the front roll bar. 10 on the back. 20 compression on the front. 32 on the back. 45 expansion on the front. And 42 on the back. 3.5 hertz on the natural frequency on the front. 4.5 on the back. Negative camber. 3 on the front. 2 on the back. Toes out on the front, 0 0.05, and leave the toes on the on the rear. Five on the diff all round, and then we've got 500 for the front downforce, 1600 for the rear. ECU, you want it 100, and power restrictor, you want that to be 79. I did try it the other way around at first, but I found that the power restrictor gave me a better knot to 60 time, as you can see on the left. Ever so slightly a bit more, but you know, every little bit helps in this. Uh, gear ratios, set it to 370, and then you want to manually adjust it to these numbers here. Or well, won't run through them all, but basically how you do it is you tune the final tune to 3.242, and then readjust all the uh, gears above, and that'll let you get those numbers. And that'll give you a nice long first gear for minimum wheel spin. You want the medium RPM turbo and you want your front rear brake balance set to 3. And that's it. This wasn't the hardest car to tune. The next one I've got for you is the hardest one to tune and it's still not 100% but it does go around the track fairly well. But we'll leave that one till then. Right, let's talk fuel. You're going to do this as a one stop. You can't do it as a no stop unfortunately. Uh, and you're going to do it in two stints, so you're going to take the first stint to the end of lap 8, which you should do in fuel map 4, all the way round. You might be able to squeeze a bit of fuel map 1 out at, towards the end of it, because that will give you 8.5 laps of fuel. And then in the second stint, you can do fuel map 3, and that will take you to the end. But I'll throw up the figures now on screen for you, for all the fuel maps, and you can see 
how much fuel each fuel map eats. So you got one at the top all the way down to six, 17 at the top, 10 at the bottom, and how many laps you can do with them. But through that, you can sort of gauge yourself at what sort of fuel map you need to be on and then put a few few laps in on uh, fuel map one, try and blast out some good lap times. So there you go, folks. I hope it's been helpful for you, and we will see you all next time. Adios.